Hi there. Just want to make a little bit of a video here. I've begun dismantling this Fisher Price Alpha probe because it's got some buckety electronics in it and I think they're probably just dirty but I just wanted to show a quick video of how to dismantle one of these. I've actually loosened off a couple of the, the nuts already. That one there, that one started on that one I think. So they're slightly loosened off, but I just want to show you here. I'm going to just use, this is just a Leatherman. And I find that this is a great tool. I need to get my glasses. This is a great tool for getting in at these, these little nuts. Let's just see if I can get it on the shot here. And I'm going to just try and pinch in on that and then really, really grip tightly like I'm squeezing this pliers almost as tightly as I can. This is a tricky one that I'm on here. I may have to go for plan B with that one, which is this pair of pliers, which I've sometimes used with success. Let's see, here we... Oh dear, it's very stiff, this one. Oh, we're getting some movement shit biscuits okay. managed to catch the phone and not destroy it that was good wow that was really tough so it didn't actually move and i'm going to need to get something to grip that don't know if it's enough it's a bit of a clunky looking nice grip so let's get something a little bit more elegant This is a really tough one. I don't know if you can, if I get the camera in here, it might be better. Oh, it's actually turning, it's okay. All right, that's good. Now, it's a, what's annoying when you have to bite on with a vice grips like that is it kind of slightly... Let's see, can I zoom in here? Forgive my appalling camera work here. I'm just... I oh, just thought I'd share this with you. So I can see... Oh, let's see. Um, you know, it's very slight, but it slightly chews, chews up the head a little bit. Anyway, I'm just going to zoom back out. And I'll continue and see how I get on with the others. A couple of them just came out really quite nicely. So I'm going to just turn my camera around there. This is a bit awkward. I haven't really thought through my camera angles too well. Just want to see. Felt like that turned a small bit. Come on, you fucker. Okay. That feels like it's turning. Yeah. So sometimes they turn pretty nice. You just, my trick has been, this is only the second one of these I've ever done, but my trick has been to apply as much pressure to the pliers as possible. Ooh, it's tricky. So I still got a couple to do. And this one here. No, that one I've, Ooh. 
Like I am squeezing those pliers like I'm trying to break them. That's how much pressure I'm putting on. And the thing to be really careful of with something like this is that you don't, sometimes you're gonna be gripping really, really tightly. And if it slips, if your finger or a bit of your palm or something is in there, it's gonna get pinched. And that will be really sore if it happened boom, quickly as it slips off. So just make sure your hands are clear of those areas. This one I haven't gone at yet, so I'm gonna have a little look see. Have a little gander. Getting a bit of ray purchase. Ow. That wasn't that was just out to the the noise of the uh, the sound. I don't like when that happens. Didn't actually pinch myself there. Now, that's most of them. There's still this one here, which I haven't I don't think I've done anything on yet. If I was doing this, I'd probably have the Alpha Probe on my lap as a kind of a way of holding it. turning because trying to get this in the shot and also do the job is a bit tricky but it's it's working now I'm gonna pull this one all the way out and show you the kind of screw that it is because it's a very unusual screw it's a bit like if you've ever taken off the the little flathead screws that hold a lot of these Fisher Price toys, look at how look at the sharp angle on that the the, the threads of that. So what that means is that it, it takes probably only about two rotations of the well, let's see, one yeah, like two two full rotations is all it takes to remove that whole screw. But it also means that each rotation requires a lot of uh, a lot of grunt to get it out there so the trick is to grip uh, to grip really really tightly if you can to make sure that your fingers or your it'd be kind of this part of your hand will be the part that will be likely to get pinched in the in the pliers you know if they if they slipped Okay, so I'll get the rest of these out and then I might just continue the video and show you what's cooking inside. Okie doke, so I have removed all of the screws. And this is my system for how I know where which screw goes where. They are actually all the same, except one or two of them have a bit little bits of little bits of the plastic from the screw housing on them. So nice to be able to um just put the same screws back in the same holes they came out of. When I took out the last one, the whole thing, just this, this top piece just came apart. So, uh, I will be giving all of this a good cleaning. The reason why I was taking this apart is because it's sounds aren't working very well. So let me just show you the, that department of it all. So that comes up. It's absolutely amazing how, obviously it's a little bit grotty, but how clean it is for being as old as it is. 30 odd years old or whatever. Um, here are your buttons. And I can see that they are pretty, pretty grotty. They have quite a bit of, dust and crud on them there 
and I'd say that is what the problem is as to why we're not getting some good sounds coming out of coming out of the soundboard. Contacts themselves look okay. It all looks. Let's see. Can we get you a better view? I'll get the old light in here. So what's looking like what? That looks a bit schmooby. There, I don't like that. There's a bit of bit of goop on a couple of these contacts. That looks a bit rough. So what I'm going to go and do is get a little bit of booze and uh, we'll give it a bit of a clean up. So now let's just have a bit of a closer look at this article. Please forgive the appalling camera work. I'm just, I didn't think about setting up the camera here so it's all a little bit messy but you can see kind of here there's a bit of wear, there's a bit of something going on, a little bit of, certainly there's some dust and possibly a little bit of corrosion, I'm not too sure. Um, but, and then if we look at the actual buttons that actuate, you can see that they're very grotty. I think when all that gets cleaned, she's going to chooch just beautifully. Okay. See if I can give you a, a demonstration. Where's my battery? Where are you? There you go. Okay. So now I'm trying the, the three buttons there and I'm not having any luck with any of them. Tell me you don't love those sounds. Look at that bit of dust just jumping around. So I'm able to get them to go, but I really have to schwang them down there, really put a lot of pressure on to get them to go. So what I'm going to do now is get a little bit of alcohol. Cotton bud. And I'm going to just clean this circuit board. Yeah, there is some sort of something going on here that looks like it's more than just dirt. Well, it might not be the end of the world. It's a bit of, it's a bit of corrosion of some sort. Might have to do something about that, hopefully not. Now, there we go. That's all a lot cleaner. Look at that, for a bit of grot baggery. See all that grime and schmoo that came off. So we'll give it another little go. Okay, where are the, the kind of business ends of it all there? And I'm gonna get another one of these cotton buds. Let me just show you here, I think I might have shown you already. But this is all very dusty and grotty as well, so we give it a good cleaning too.
Again, a bit of the alcohol. Soon we'll know, and by soon I mean right now. just that little bit of cleaning just gets them all working again and I'm gonna clean the whole thing a lot better but I'll just show you these buttons should work great now they work great just because that bit of dust and that crud is all out of there so I'm gonna clean things up a little bit more before I put it all back together but just wanted to show you that uh, that simple little fix for the for the sounds on the Alpha Probe. Possibly the most awesome space shuttle toy in the history of the toys of the world. Enjoy. Have fun. Thanks for watching.